beautiful city of Cheshire in Poland, you may find one of the most up-and-coming companies in the gaming industry. If you have ever watched a single game of competitive esports, if you have ever visited a single LAN event, you most definitely know the name, G2A. You might know them as a name on your stream, or maybe as a marketplace for games, but besides that, chances are you're not quite familiar with everything they're doing. But since they invited us to visit them, we want to show you what G2A really is. How did one of the biggest online marketplaces start? That was a part of our history when we were e-commerce, right now we are a marketplace, but on that time we were just e-commerce, so we bought products and sell products, sold products on the market, and we really wanted to be an official reseller of AAA developers, and uh, I literally wrote the letters to them because I wanted to have a meeting. I sent them emails, I tried to call them, nothing worked, so I left letters on the trade shows, being there in their booth, and uh, letters like, Dear AAA developer, I would like to work with you officially and cooperate and sell your products uh, to our customers and they never answered. So uh, this is why we also changed the business model. We focus on the customers, on the end users, on the gamers and players and we created a marketplace. But the start of G2A was a long time ago and now the company employs hundreds amongst hundreds of people from all nationalities. Who are the people behind G2A? Who works there? And what are their stories? Uh, my name is Patrick Cadlez and I'm a head of business development at G2A.com. Okay, so my name is Julia. I'm working in G2A already second month and I'm here. The official name is IT Admin, but uh, we want to change it to the true name, uh, Super Multitasking Ninja. Yeah. So I'm Diana Huyn. Uh, I'm the business marketing specialist here at G2A. Uh, my name is Kamil Bunitsky and I'm a game designer here in G2A. Well, uh, it was always my dream, my dream to work in gaming industry and actually I met uh, G2A first time three years ago at some gaming event where I was working as cosplayer. Uh, I met uh, Josh and uh, Shafiq and they actually become my friends a uh, long time. And a um, year ago, no, not a year ago, a few months ago in uh, February, uh, G2A asked me uh, to be their cosplayer at the booth at uh, Gaming Istanbul in Turkey. And in Istanbul, uh, I heard that they are looking for some IT uh, lawyers. So I decided that I, I can try myself. And for G2A, I moved from my city uh, like four and a half hundred kilometers. I changed my apartment, I changed everything, I changed totally my life, but I'm here second month and I'm pretty happy here. <laughs> I want to stay. Um, my journey to G2A was like, uh, I was playing since I was like six, I think, and I started uh, to work in a game development company called CI Games, and I was working there, and after that, uh, when I, I changed work and uh, David, our C CMO, uh, wanted us to um, create a department and start to work in Oculus and make something. We didn't really want, uh, we didn't really know what to do at the beginning, so we kind of tried everything and uh, the results you can see today as the G2A land and other stuff we did and they had me flown over to G2A. So I fell in love with the country in Poland and the company. So after uh, finishing my internship, I went back to school to finish, and then I actually flew back here to Poland and G2A, and the rest is history. And with all those people, G2A has grown over the years, transforming itself from a simple marketplace of used games into much more. But what do they do exactly besides that? What else can you do but buy and sell games? Oh, yeah. A marketplace is in the middle of what we do. We've got a very nice chart when, when, when everything is picture. So one very important thing what we do is G2A Pay. So it's a payment solution for customers and also for external merchants. And thanks to this, you can sell products in a secure way on your website. That's really important part. And about it, you can do it globally. There are more than 100 payment methods for customers from all over the world. And second thing is 
G2A Direct, which is a program support program for developers. Third thing is virtual reality. So we have our own studio when we create game developments, like we created G2A Land, which is several attractions, a roller coaster, um, a special part of underwater, and also very important thing, we created a game development for MSI, the hardware producer, and Warner Brothers for Batman vs Superman uh, game um, uh, film release, and that was big success in uh, in, in Asian country. Uh, basically, it, it's like a um, amusement park with different attractions like roller coasters, shooting range, um, cinema, uh, bike rides, and stuff. So you can choose what you want and entertain yourself. Um, that's about it. And we were adding new things all the time. Uh, Another thing is, of course, 3D. 3D. We figured out that. If you are a gamer and your favorite game is, let's say, Mario Bros. and you would like to play in that game, in your favorite character, when you finish playing that and you close your laptop or you turn off your computer, maybe you would like to have this figurine next to your bed. So what we want to do and what we actually created already is the whole process of choosing your favorite character, picking it, maybe with the best pose that you would like to have them, and order, and we will arrange everything to deliver you the character to your home. We want to give the, the developers the whole set of tools to make their, their characters, make their merchandise uh, available. So, uh, so there are modules in the, in the, in the platform that uh, handle with a specific type of uh, uh, products. Like we can export the content from the games, we can draw the, the content for the publisher if they don't have uh, access to the IP anymore. Uh, so we can pretty much every IP holder, every if it's AAA or if it's indie game developer, we can make their content um, physical. What has once been a mere marketplace for games has transformed into something much greater. Gamers and developers alike can come to G2A and get what they are after. It is to no surprise because the people behind the company are not stuck up office heads. They are gamers themselves. They are cut from the same cloth as we are. Uh, so I've always been more of a console player. It's kind of like a taboo word here, but they're slowly accepting me. But uh, I've always uh, played PlayStation games, so Kingdom Hearts, um, the AAA titles like Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto and things like that. But uh, after joining this company, uh, I've been really exposed to a lot more indie games as well. So I'm kind of diving a little bit more into PC uh, gaming. So they'll finally accept me here. <laughs> okay, so generally was actually, uh, the gaming was always the passion of mine. So I was, uh, I was playing since I was, I think, seven. So first con uh, consoles, first uh, computers, like, the ZX Spectrum, uh, then Commodore, uh, Amiga, then first PlayStation, PCs. So I was always in this uh, area and I was always passionate about the gaming. And I always knew that I'm gonna have something in common with the, with the games in the future. I didn't have a field to go there. And like every gamer, they also go crazy about eSport. Of course we are involved in eSport, in supporting, empowering many uh, eSport teams, events, and building the community because you have to be close to the community to know their needs. In the past year, they supported the industry with no less than six million dollars. What are they expecting next year? Even more. Even more. And they're not going away. G2A will be part of the future in gaming, no questions asked. Well, maybe one. What are their plans for the future? Wow, it's a good question because Five years is such a long time that you really cannot predict what will happen in internet, IT, new technology world within five years. Everything is so dynamic. In two years, yes, you can 
have a concept, what you want to do, you can have a plan and a strategy. This is all we have. We know how we want to develop the marketplace. There will be new products on the marketplace, new functionalities to the customers. There will be new things for buyers and sellers, of course. And also we'll be involved in new activities, like I mentioned before, 3D, VR uh, or eSport. There will be more.